Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Fantasy Life Origin Island. I am wearing our original getup, because otherwise I'd be naked. Um, here as a hunter, because last episode, uh, we we finished making a bunch of stuff using some divine orbs as a carpenter um, to, to, to have some better tools and weapons if we need them. For example, I am now using the Heartbreaker bow, which is the second most powerful bow you can craft, mainly because... You need to get to the Trial of Light to pass, uh, or to, to create the best possible bow you can craft. I know there's better bows you can get using uh, using uh, gold Lunaris coins, but I'm nowhere near getting enough gold Lunaris coins to, to spend on stuff like that. Anyway, we are here in Al Magic because we are heading to Cacto Cove to finish off our first quest as a Master Hunter. Um, I don't even know where I'm looking but what I'm looking for is not here. Oh wait, no, it's up this. It's up this slope, I believe. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Da, 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 da. We need some honey. Uh, we got some island honey, and there we go. The sweet life complete. I believe that is worth a whopping 150 stars. Um, but basically, I am doing very, very easy quests to begin with while I have bad armor, uh, just so that I can get, oops, just so that I can get to hero um, status, so that I can get, um, oh wait, he didn't charge us that much that time. I wonder if he charges you more if you got more people or bounties. Hmm. Yeah, basically, I need to get to hero status so that I can get the hero armor. That's what I'm. That's why I'm doing easy quests. So we've also got to go to the subterranean lake, and there are apparently some bats in there we've got to kill. So that's fun, murdering innocent little bats, uh, <laughs> which shouldn't be too difficult. I don't think they're the same as the vampire bats in the ancient ruins. Although we do have to do those as well, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got to kill like five of them to get all of the stars. So, oh hey, midnight. That's where I parked you. I must have teleported away after doing the fishing thing. Okay, so here we go. Um, things in here could potentially... Actually, no, they're not going to one-shot us because our vitality is so high. We've got lots of health. We've just got no defense. That's the problem. Okay, so to get past, we are going to need to... Wow, that was easy. This Heartbreaker bow is amazing. <laughs> it's not fantastically amazing, but, you know, it's it's got decent stats. Pop, pop. Uh, it's, yeah, it's got decent, like, damage. It's just... It's got earth... Um, it's got earth element, which isn't, you know, fantastically helpful. Okay, there's an enemy over here. That's a spider thing. Don't care about that. Where are... Oh, the bats are where the behemoth is, isn't it? So we've got to go this way. Okay, take out these guys. Actually, you know what else we've got to do? We've got to take out monsters using our special skill. So hopefully we can raise that up quickly. Because I think we're... Oh, earth shard. I didn't realize you can get them from these guys. Uh, so yeah, th uh, that's something else we've got to try and do, is get that. Oh look, there's a couple of bounties just chilling here. Oh, he's just, he's just focusing on the bounties. That's fine. Okay, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll try and get like our special skill, and then we'll go attack lots of things at the same time. Um, and, and try and get that raised up, because I think I've only got one out of the ten complete. So that might take a while, especially considering we don't seem to be raising our skill up that quickly. But there should be lots of bats in here. They should go down fairly easily. I don't see why they wouldn't. We've got to take out five of them. Things that go bump in the night. Pardon me, bump in the night. I think there's only four of them here. That's annoying. Unless there's some chilling around the behemoth there is. Okay, I'm going to try and ignore the behemoth. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that should be all five of them. Should get the quest. Wait. When we get the quest? Is that not is that not the right bat? Or did we already do the quest? Behemoth, no, go away. Oh, there we go. Winged Nightmare complete. So that brings us... Oh, yeah, the other thing as well is uh, we've, we've already done this one. Wings of Darkness, defeat one Shadow Big Beak in the uh, Cacto Cove. So that's pretty good. Because we're only 2,700 points away, right? So that's 1,500 of them. Um, these two are 550. So that's... Well, that's 2,050. Wait, am I right? Yeah, 2,050. Uh, which means we've only got... And then that one we did as well, which brings us up to 2,300. So we've only got 400 left to go. So I think what I'm going to do is... Take on the Big Beak in the West Grassy Plains. So I will see you guys there. 
Man, this thing took forever to find. <laughs> okay, we're going to take care of the frogs first, just so they don't get in the way. And probably start off with a, uh, a scatter shot here. And pop, 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 That was a lot of critical damage. Okay, so Big Beak here isn't going to be too much of an issue. Um, I've just got to actually try and attack it, rather than it attack me. There we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, we, we, we could do with some extra defense, just in case it does hurt us. I mean, that was 50 damage. That's just because we got no defense. There's nighttime as well, which is going to be handy, because we can go do the Eye of Darkness. Um, sir, please. <sighs> okay, we'll wait for it to attack, and then we'll go for a scatter shot. That frog is right in the way. Yeah, scat Ooh. scatter shot seems to be our best friend against Big Beak here. Okay, he's doing lots of quick... Oh, I've actually run out of SP. Uh, let's just heal up the SP then. Oh, heal up the SP then. Thank you. Okay, he's going to go for the wind attack. That's fine, because I can get in close and I can go for the big scatter shot attack. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to get my special skill against him, but there we go. Big Beak down, Big Beak down. I do... Oh, wow, that's actually a gold bounty. All right. So, uh, we don't actually have to hand in the bounty, but since I'm right by a bounty clerk, I think it's worthwhile. So, uh, I believe the bounty clerk is just around this corner. Yeah, I always forget that there is one actually in the West Grassy Plains, but there we have it. It's been ages since I've been here. That's a nice big beak you got there. Thank you very much. There we go. Should get some giant claws. Oh, a rainbow feather. Cool. Okay, so that means now if we go to uh, the master. Oh, blimey. Who's the master called again? Begins with F. No, it doesn't. Begins with L. Fern. Fern begins with L. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's like, Fern. All right, let's talk to her. It's been a while, Fern, hasn't it? Jeez. Be quick about it. Report. All right, and we should get upgraded to a hero. Yes. All right, just what I needed. Now I can finally wear decent clothes. And we get an extra 100 stars towards our legendary life. Okay. And never forget, a hunter must always be in tune with nature. Ah, yes, there's something else. You should inform the king that you reached the rank of hero. Apparently, he has a reward for those who achieve such a feat. Thank you. Okay, now let's talk to you again. What is it? Be quick about it. You're not very nice, are you? Congratulations, kid. Who'd have thought it? A little fledgling like you who'd become a hero. Not even I can hide my amazement. I guess one monster suitable for a hero like you to hunt would be the Shadow Big Beak. Hmm, yeah. Um, I've kind of already done that and handed in the stars for it. So you reached hero rank? That's amazing. Still, sadly, Mistress Fern has been a bit down lately. I think she wants to travel the world and hunt all sorts of monsters just like you have. Oh, well, I got there first. Righty-ho, let's go speak to Mr. Eric and see what fabulous stuff he has for us. I'm actually excited to see what items we're going to get. Although I guess what I could have done is I just could have just like looked in the tailor life or... Yeah, it probably would be the tailor life for Hunter. And uh, to see what, the, um, see what the, the Hunter reward would be. But anyway, I'll meet you guys over in the castle. Here we are. Well, oh, it's night time. I forgot about that. Okay, well, um, since it's night time, I'm going to go to the Elderwood. Reason being is that during the, the night time, the Eyes of Darkness spawns in the Deep Elderwood, so I need to kill one of those. Do I need to hand in the bounty? Do I need to hand in the bounty? Please say no. Oh, I think I do. Darn it. All right, time to hand in this bounty. I've got to make it... Wait, hang on. This is the quest I need to do, right? And hand in the bounty. Darn it. <laughs> Okay, there's no bounty clerk nearby. I have to go back to Castell. Be right back. Alrighty, made it back to Castell. We can hand in this bounty and call another quest done. Uh, and then we can go sleep. <laughs> and then um, call, uh, talk to King Eric again. So I will meet you guys back at uh, King Eric's castle once I've had a snooze. Alright, well met, Humbledale. Please and thank you, Eric. <laughs> We're finally here. Well met, Dale. In recognition of your exploits in the Hunter Life, I wish to reward you with five pieces of apparel suitable for such a hero. Hurrah! In the days of yore, hunters in service of the crown were known as guards of the royal garden and served the king himself. The ancient practice is long finished, yet your diligent efforts have pleased me just as if you had been my obedient servant. Continue to serve not only the crown, but all the people of Riveria. Thank you, I guess, for being your obedient servant. All right, let's take a look at this hunter gear and see what we have. <gasps> Sniper, ha oh my goodness, we are Robin Hood. 
This is amazing. Sniper boots. Oh. We are literally Robin Hood. That that is great. Is that a little bird? That's a little bird in my hat. That is that is fantastic. I have a bird in my hat. I love it. Alright, what other quests have we got to do here? Uh, the Blizzard Bird uh, in Tortuga Archipelago. I could probably take that on myself. Uh, so yeah, let, let's go. Let's go take on the Blizzard Bird. Oh, I love this outfit. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, we are here in the Tortuga Archipelago, of course, looking for the Blizzard Bird. Normally, I spot him over here by the Bounty Clerk. So hopefully, oh, I don't think he is. That's a shame. No. Okay, so I know where else he spawns. So we'll go over there. He spawns like towards the north, uh, northwest area, uh, along the the cliffside. So yeah, just up here and then round. Uh, and also, we should get our special um, special ability, uh, which I think is Arrow Storm, uh, which we'll probably have to use against it because it's going to be a bit more difficult than the the uh, than the Big Beak. Um, but I'm also going to use my stunning ability. My stunning ability. There he is, Blizzbird, uh, or Blizzard Bird. So let's just start off by us stunning him and being like, "You're amazing!" Oh, he's going to go straight. Oh, look, we. Okay, so we took about the same amount of damage from him as we did from Big Beak. Oh, that that's painful. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the stunning definitely helps. Luckily, we managed to dodge that. Let's go for Arrow Storm, uh, which did a decent chunk of damage. Okay, I tried to use my ability there, but it didn't work. Okay, so it looks like it looks like our little back hop was perfectly timed with his uh, attack there, so that's quite good. Nope, bad blizzard bird. I'm quite glad that I'm actually trying to do this on my own rather than taking some OP um, NPCs with me. Uh, I'm not getting my back hop in, in time again now. Excuse me. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to stun him. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, wait for him to attack. He's using that attack, that's fine. And then we can get a, a paralysis shot in. And he doesn't seem to be st Oh yeah, he's stunned, that's fine. There we go, now our little back hop's there. I think it was the, the paralysis that was helping us before. Okay, and we're getting a couple of attacks there. There we go. That's the one I was trying to do, the, uh, the, like, the piercing shot, rather than the one that scatters. And we got some giant claws. Oh, there we go. We got some giant claws. Freeze as a bird. That's a phrase which I've never heard. Freeze as a bird? Free as a bird. Yeah, I've heard that phrase before. Maybe that's a pun of free as a bird. Who knows? Probably. Anyway, I'm going to hand this bounty in just because we may as well. The bounty clerk is right nearby. And then I'm probably going to call it an episode just because it's sort of getting on. Um, although, no, I think what I might do... Mm, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll do that another time. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's hand in this bounty and we will call it quits there. 3,300 dosh. Very good. And probably something to do with ice. Yeah, frosty feather. Okay. All right. Guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Fast Life. Hope you all enjoyed. Let's take a look and see what we need to do still. Um, we need to use Arrow Storm to kill 10 more, oh, sorry, 9 more monsters. Um, vampire Bats in the Ancient Ruins, one Mothoon in Levitania, a Flame Moth in the Ancient Ruins, three Flame Moths in the Ancient Ruins, Bunny Killer in Le West Levitania, those are the, uh, the, the, like, the wolves, and then a Moth Queen in the Ancient Ruins, and then Cash in the Bounty. Oh, and then 15 Shadow Wolves, jeez, and three Boss Shadow Wolves, so it looks like we're gonna have to go into the Cacto Cove quite a lot. Probably going to need help with that one, so we'll get some NPCs. Guys, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.